Green means many things. Energy and water efficiency, recycling, using new, safe, clean, and innovative products and applications, and new sources of energy, like solar, wind, geothermal. Here's how the experts explain it. By using solar panels and different renewable energy technologies, all of those technologies eliminate the need for fossil fuels being burned to generate energy. You're creating your own energy in, in the most efficient and cleanest way possible. And this is what supports the solar panels that produce the energy from the sun. Our product does help the environment. What's great about it? The towers that we're building. It's a clean way to create energy. It's good for the future. We could build towers here in California. We want to be U.S. made and union made. Geothermal energy is one where you drill deep down into the earth. Nowadays, they're circulating water through the ground, and all we're doing is pumping that water that's already at a certain temperature to the units. They're doing a lot of things green. Mechanical rooms underneath the floor, anything to save energy. Insulators do quite a bit, actually. By insulating something sufficiently, you, you can use less power to, say, boil the water, to make the steam. But it doesn't matter if it's a chilled system, a cold system, a hot system. When we do apply our material, it makes that system efficient. We're with the glazers. We're following the people putting in the windows, and we go behind them and seal it up. Insulation and waterproofing. 30-some years ago, things weren't as airtight as they are today. Now everything's energy efficient. We want to be able to seal the duct, make everything airtight. I think what's different is the types of units and systems that are put in buildings now. This space might have been done with a few large units. Now it's done with a bunch of small ones. So if no one's occupying them spaces, the spaces are down, they're not drawing any energy. There's lighting controls. There's a occupancy sensor that controls which lights come on at what time. There's also ambient light detection. We install waterless urinals now and low flow water closets and toilets and wash stations. Recirculated water coming from the facility itself that they're going to use for their irrigation system. That's for the planters up above and all the grass and the landscaping. We have vegetated roofs. They are great to trap the rainfall so it doesn't run straight into the drains and then into the vein. Minimizing waste, we're required to recycle 75% minimum. Some of the examples of recycled materials are metal only, concrete, which is reused, cardboard, wood, the jip board. There's nothing that goes into the garbage. Everything is 100% recyclable. They're all reclaimed materials. They get the marble dust from the marble industry. They get the seashell from the fish industry here in the United States. We're on concrete polishing. We're actually grinding it. And if you run a vacuum system, we actually recycle that dust at concrete factories. So you don't have any products going into the waste. The roofing trade on the last years, we have seen a lot of new different applications, new products. This roof is came new about two years ago. It's nice because it reflects the sun and we keep it cool on the inside. It's nice seeing some green products come our way. It's a new material, it has an adobe clay base. All the pigments are natural pigments, so there's no VOCs coming off of them. We don't use solder, which they say is better for the environment, doesn't get into the oceans and stuff. What's driving the new green economy? First is global warming. Numerous state and federal laws have been passed to make our country more energy efficient and reduce our carbon footprint. Green construction is about how new buildings are designed and built. It's also about refurbishing old buildings to make them more energy efficient. And it's about creating new sources of energy right here in the U.S. To rise out of today's economic slump, the nation is looking to put people to work building new smart electricity grids and rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure, this time using green technologies. Each year, California unions invest $100 million in training so that workers learn the latest technologies used out in the field. This training is not only for new workers. Skilled craftsmen are regularly brought back to school to learn the latest in their craft, including green products and applications. The Electrical Training Institute in Los Angeles is a great example of how long-time workers are continuously retrained. Every quarter, journeyman electricians, along with employers and inspectors, attend a state-of-the-art training course in solar design and installation. Our people are highly proficient, highly trained, and highly skilled electrical mechanics already. 
In the last 14 months, we've trained approximately 3,000 licensed electricians throughout the state of California. This facility here is, is unbelievable. It's, um, as far as I know, one of the best in the country. They're top line equipment, top line information. After the class, we're going to be taking a test to be certified to go out in the field and, and let people know, hey, we know what we're doing. <laughs> Union training ensures that both current workers who are already skilled craftsmen and the new generation of workers are fully prepared to handle the latest processes, products, and technologies in their craft. There's always something new, and people are always looking to improve on something. Every time I get a plumbing magazine, there's something new, something different, something better. There's a lot of big changes going on. Now we're going to start seeing a lot of solar systems integrated into the roofing membranes. We're processing a lot of um, wind towers right now, right here in California. The rail cars and all that is new to the company, so we all learn together. It's a new process for us. We do interior plastering as well, have done it for centuries, and so it's more learning a different product. So most of our journeymen are really good at picking it up, and within a day they have the idea. Anybody could bolt a module on a roof that has the ability to turn a wrench, but that's not the whole scope of work that's involved in the solar installation. I think that union workers are very well trained as compared to the typical workers. The client on the previous installation of these used non-union labor and they went to switch to us union labor. The speed and delivery brought this product to them much quicker. This type of work specifically is very demanding of skilled craftsmen. It's one thing just to be able to go weld something here, but you got to have somebody who is competent and willing to do a good job day after day. And I think that's what we're getting from our union employees. Green construction is here, and union building trades workers are trained and are already doing the work. But is green construction just a fad, or is it the future? Green construction, it's, uh, it's the wave of the future. It's creeping on us slowly, so we need to learn all this, and we need to get involved, create some more work for union members for every trade. There is virtually untapped potential for business development, growth, job creation in the renewable energy sector. Business is business. It's a good business to be in. It uh, benefits the company. It's a product that can be produced here in the U.S. It's something that will help the environment long term. There's been a tremendous increase in funding for these types of installations, all the main high school districts, uh, community colleges. That's over 300 percent growth in an industry in one year over what has grown in the last decade. I think the green technology is here to stay definitely. It's, it's more and more in everything we bid. Maybe a little bit more work for us in the industry to deal with it, but as a whole, it's saving in the long run. Ultimately, I think it's good for the environment. Ultimately, it's saving money. Ultimately, you're not wasting a lot of energy or materials or what have you. Oh, I think it's great. I think it'll help out the environment and it'll save people money and it can do a lot for us in our country.